This morning, we're working to learn if Disney officials and union leaders are any closer to striking a deal. The union is fighting for workers to get more assistance after Central Florida's largest employer announced it will furlough employees later this month. So far, Disney has not said how many of the 77,000 cast members under the union will be impacted. We're told workers will be paid through April 18th. Disney says it will also pay the full health care premiums for anyone who is furloughed. And those workers could soon be part of the thousands of Floridians trying to apply for unemployment benefits. The state shutting down its website last night to process the overwhelming amount of applications. Mark Lehman is following this for us, joining us live from Orlando this morning. And Mark, the website was to, supposed to be up and running again this morning. Yeah, and we've been checking this morning, and, and it appears that it came back online right around 4 a.m. This comes after uh, the website has experienced a long list of problems in recent weeks, something resulting in one state senator taking matters into her own hands this weekend. My company shut us down three weeks ago, and we don't even know if they're going to reopen or not. Like many, Jerry Wilson has been navigating the uncertainty of losing his job while also being met with the frustration of Florida's bogged down unemployment website. That's what brought him to State Senator Linda Stewart's office on Sunday. This is going to help us that don't have internet access or printers. Stewart providing paper applications for residents to mail in as a workaround for the state's bogged down unemployment website. It comes as the agency behind the site took it down overnight in an effort to increase the ability to process an overwhelming amount of online applications. We aren't going to know till tomorrow whether or not what they have attempted to do tonight is going to work. Records show the state has spent more than $25 million over the last two weeks to improve the online unemployment application process. Some of that money being put to work overnight as the site will again be put to the test this week. It's just slow, it's ridiculous, and people are so desperate right now to get their money in. And out here at State Senator Stewart's office, those paper applications are available for anyone to pick up and mail in. We've already seen a few people stop by here this morning. Now, as for the state's unemployment website, the big question will be, did any of the work overnight, uh, did it help to fix any of those issues that they've been seeing in recent weeks? We will be working to get an answer to that question throughout the day. For now, live in Orlando, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.